it's Friday, the gear is loaded, the car's been in the sun all day, it is absolutely sweltering in here, hotter than the sun, I bet you. I've got Poppy with me, I'm gonna get up the lake now, hour and 10 minute drive, let's get the show on the road. reeds there there's a few a few fish milling around including a, a ghost koi of some sort one two three four five one went in there six seven the koi not entirely sure they look like they're having it though looks like they're just basking around Uh, the tip of them reeds. Right, so I can see quite a lot of fish in this corner here. Uh, a lot more than I first thought. I came down along this bank here, which is the toilet bank, and see quite a lot of fish quite in close. And I reckon I can probably get a rod tight to this this set of uh, this set of reeds here, and I can get a rod right tight to the reeds on the far bank there <clears throat> and then maybe zig rod some I don't know wherever out there so drop the bucket I'm gonna go and get my car the dog's paying attention come on where's she gone on there hang on someone's happy to be here more energy than me that's for sure <clears throat> right so I'm gonna go and get my car I'm gonna have a look on the point swim corner first i'm pretty sure i saw some surface movement surface disturbance up there when i got here which is on the wind it's where i would expect them to be so i don't know these fish in this corner although there's a lot of them here they seem to be doing a lot of milling around so i'm not quite sure if they're going to be up for a feed up the fish up this top corner here may may be better to fish for they may be more <clears throat> accepting a bait I think let's have a look see there's still quite a few coots on here only a handful of tufties this week so which is good there was about, well, about 30 or 40 of them last time I was here now there's probably three four five ten maybe 10 so that's much better but anyway they're not affecting me they're over the other side so let's go back and have a look at this point and see if it's worth bringing the car around to fish this toilet swim or if it's worth sticking to where i am already catch you in a bit right they're lumping at you so point swim that's about the fourth show i've seen now and they're they're active shows you know they're not spawning or nothing like that so they're they're proper coming out just not sort of lice they're just gill clearing so they're having a proper trough up on this corner here so oh, i think my decision to park the car here was a good one so i'm going to go and get my bucket and i'm going to go and fish here i think Yes, let's go get the bucket. We are fishing with the pop ups. Yes, we are. Got ourselves a nice little corner swim, like I said earlier. I'm on with the wind, so the fish that were um, 
on the surface and the opposite corner on the back of the wind there they didn't appear to be doing a great amount other than just sitting there basking but up in this corner on the wind they were flopping about and you know looking as if they were being a bit more active um, charging in and out the reeds they weren't spawning thankfully um, I don't think it will be long before they will but uh, for the moment they're not spawning but they are bashing the reeds probably for snails and whatnot coming out clearing the gills up and down the margins on the shelf there they're coming up you can see I've got ow, I've got a um, winch cam um, and you can see on the winch cam where they've been turning up the bottom and whatnot so I've got one rod on that shelf right up against the reeds there just before they start to grow into the little uh, uh, the new saplings for the year uh, so I don't want to get tangled up on that. It's the beauty of the winch cam is that you can get close without actually putting anything at risk. You're not, you wouldn't know you on those little um, six inch foot type sort of new, new growth reeds if you were just leading around. So it's nice to be able to see that so you can fish just the right side of it. So I'm on that shelf. I'm talking. Um, and then I'm on sort of halfway up the shelf i have baited another spot on the shelf just further up the bank there for tomorrow but i just want to have a, have a rod in the slightly deeper water um for the night and then my third rod at the moment is on a zig which i'm either going to reposition change the color of it reposition it slightly or i'm going to flip it completely and put it on the bottom i haven't decided on that one yet but for now it's dinner time she's fed she's full of the joys of spring as you can hear she wants to play i need food so i think i'll probably try and tire her out for five minutes so at least i can have five minutes peace while i'm cooking my dinner ain't that right poppy what have you got to say to the people <coughs> is that it that's all you want to say yes you've heard it here first oh no no at least finish the conversation before Right, and there you had it. No idea what she's saying, so if anyone does speak dog, let me know. And here we go, into the last night of the weekend. Still nothing to report. Got a sneaky suspicion all they want to do is spawn now. I'm going to chat with one of the members on the other side of the bank there. He's got a nose to tail up and down in the margins kind of over in that direction over there somewhere, which is where we saw her when we got here. Heading down towards the, what we call it, the pole corner. There's like a depth post in the corner there. I say they weren't interested in anything other than milling around and catching the sun at that point. It was up in this corner where they were showing signs of feeding, but they moved off that night. So I've had one very small fish roll um, just when well, it was actually over my baited area it's uh, about lunch time today um, unfortunately I'd moved the rod at that point um, thinking that I was in the wrong place so I've swiftly moved that back but then nothing I've tried all manner of different coloured zigs, depths, areas as well thinking they were up in the water column but still nothing so we keep our fingers crossed like I say, and I keep saying it, one more roll of the dice. I can do no more for now. I can do absolutely no more for now. Got some cracking shots of the Northern Lights though last night. I'm looking across at Facebook and other social medias. There was lots of other people out watching them as well. So absolutely incredible shots. And there is still a very small chance of it again tonight. So a late one for me, up with the camera. So if I can't picture a car, at least I can picture something. But well, there we go. We'll keep my fingers crossed for a little bit more coloured sky tonight. Other than that, it's going to be another night of sleep and an early pack up and, a, and enjoy the rest of the Sunday with a wife at home. But we shall see what tonight brings and I shall catch you in the morning. Mm -hmm.